I actually became a public health officer the way I think many rural practicing doctors do. I stepped in when our previous one passed away. And the first eight years were very easy. And then a pandemic happened. As things went on and we ended up in a lockdown, that was hard for people, obviously. Nobody wants to be you know, stuck in their homes. And it was just a really challenging time. And it was around that time that we started to notice a difference. My town is 2,500 people, and you start to hear things. You hear the names that people start calling you. You hear people say that I'm just trying to be a dictator. But you're still coming in for your diabetes, and I'm, I'm still giving you advice, and you're, and you're believing all of that, and you're trusting me, but not in the pandemic. And so it was a strange feeling, really, to, to start having that mistrust. It was hard, it was personal, it hurt. At the beginning of the pandemic, we were able to say what we needed to do. And then slowly it became that the county commissioners needed to consult us, but they got to make the ultimate decision. And then that became, we don't need to consult you. And that, that was you know, a direct message from the Kansas legislators to say, we don't want these doctors or nurses or public health officers to tell us what to do. They weren't elected. We'll make those decisions. We'll take it from here. It was, I would say, just kind of a huge slap in the face. As time goes by and people start to learn to live with the new world that we're, we're in now, people start forgetting how angry they were at science and public health and start to trust and read and, and discover and look toward experts again. I don't know when it's going to happen, though. I don't know what that timeline looks like because it doesn't feel like it's going to be anytime soon. Thank you.